Inside the Lines is brought to you by Hendrick Honda of Charleston. When you buy a new or pre-owned vehicle, our Advantage program takes care of you for life. Make Hendrick Honda of Charleston your first choice for your next vehicle. Visit their showroom at 1478 Savannah Highway in Charleston or online at charlestonhonda.com. Welcome to Inside the Lines here on CFCSports.com, presented by Hendrick Honda on Savannah Highway here in Charleston. I'm Jeff McCarriger. Thanks for tuning in. As always, a lot to get to. Baseball and softball in action, and of course, right in the heart of the season with men's and women's basketball. But this week, we're going to start with baseball's Monty and the guys get set for an early season tournament down in Auburn. Here are the teams involved in the tournament this weekend, a four-team tournament, Charleston, Auburn, Indiana State, and Middle Tennessee State. There you see the early season numbers on the Cougars. Three and one is their record after the first four games of the season. Seven runs per game and a team ERA very good to start here at 2.25. Meanwhile, look at Auburn, a perfect 4-0 to start the season, 9.75 runs per game and a team ERA of 1.75. Also, you'll note Indiana State just 2-2, two two, but they do feature one of the top pitchers in the nation and their team ERA right now at 3.6. And then there you see the numbers of Middle Tennessee State at 2-2 two two to start the season as well. Got a chance to catch up with Monty Lee to preview this four-team tournament coming up over the weekend. I mean, I think that any time you're going to play in a tough tournament like this, you're playing three different teams from three different leagues, so you know that it could be good for your RPI. Um, and we all, obviously, we know that Auburn is a quality program, so we're just excited about the opportunity against uh, playing against three quality opponents, and hopefully we can play well. Coach, the, the weather's supposed to be a little bit nasty on Friday and Saturday. How do you keep the guys focused through all that? You know, I just tell our guys we can't control the weather. Uh, whatever, always be, uh, ready to play, always anticipate playing. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll do the very best that we can. If we if we get to play tomorrow, that'll be great. That's what we're going to anticipate and expect. But, you know, if we have to change our schedule, then we'll change our schedule and we'll do the very best we can. Again, a good start for Monty and the team. A 3-1 and one start after the first four games of the season. We'll switch now for the diamond over to the hard court where Doug Wojcik and the College of Charleston basketball team picked up a big win on Wednesday in Western Carolina in Kellaway, North Carolina, where the team had not won since 2007-2008. The guys win at 67-65, a big win for the basketball team. Now 20-8 on the season and 12-4 in the Southern Conference. And with that, let's take a look at the updated Southern Conference standings as all the teams now push for that first round bye in the tournament. Let's start in the South Division. Davidson has already wrapped up the South Division title with a 15-1 conference record, 20-7 overall. And the Cougars picking up that 67-65 win. They get their 20th win overall, like I just said. And overall in the conference now, 12 wins, 4 losses. The Cougars now are guaranteed a first-round bye in the SoCon tournament. Georgia Southern at 5-9, Wofford at 5-10, followed by the Citadel and Furman. In the North, Elon in the driver's seat right now to win the North at 11-3, 18-8 overall, followed by Sanford at 8-6, and, and then right behind them, App State at 8-8, eight eight, Western Carolina at 8-8, eight and, eight, and then Chattanooga and UNC Greensboro round out the North. Up next for the men's team, a matchup in the final ESPN Bracket Busters game here at TD Arena against Gardner-Webb. There you see Gardner-Webb at 17-11 and 11 on the season. The stats amongst these two teams actually fairly similar. Scoring is very even. Field goal percentage and three-point percentage a little bit higher for the college. Free throw percentage in favor of Gardner-Webb. And the rebounding advantage goes about plus two overall to the Cougars. You can catch that game. Four o'clock tip-off on Saturday at TD Arena. You can hear it on ESPN Radio 910 and watch the simulcast live web stream right here on cfcsports.com. We'll take a break when we come back here on Inside the Lines on cfcsports.com. We'll hear from Natasha Adair and the women's basketball program having a great season. And we'll also preview softball action out of Patriots Point coming up this weekend as well. Stay tuned. Back with more on Inside the Lines right after this. At Hendrick Honda of Charleston, you get our best price every day. When you buy a new or pre-owned vehicle, our Advantage program takes care of you for life. We offer a lifetime powertrain limited warranty, free towing and shuttle service, complimentary loaner cars, and paintless dent repair. Make Hendrick Honda of Charleston your first choice for your next vehicle. Visit us today at 1478 Savannah Highway in Charleston or online at charlestonhonda.com. Off speed and it's crushed. Forget about it. Makes a fantastic catch. Into the line, the one-two pitch. 
swing and a miss. Two gone. Welcome back to Inside the Lines here on CFCSports.com. I'm Jeff McCarriger. Each week's show is brought to you by Hendrick Honda on Savannah Highway here in Charleston. Well, as we talked about, we'll switch gears and talk about the women's basketball team, Natasha Adair and her squad. A one and one week, a disappointing loss on Wednesday night against Appalachian State. But earlier in the week, a historic win over Samford as the girls able to knock off the Bulldogs for the first time in school history. Now let's look at the updated Southern Conference women's standings. Chattanooga still rolling in the Southern Conference at 16 and 1 in conference play, 23 and 3 overall, followed by Davidson at 14 and 2, App State at 12 and 4, Elon 11 and 5, Samford now at 9 and 8, and there you see the College of Charleston just one game under 500 at 8 to 9 and 12 and 14 overall, followed by Furman, Western Carolina, Georgia Southern, UNC Greensboro, and then Monday's opponent for the women will be against the Wofford Terriers, a team that is just 2-14, and 14, and the Cougars trying to look for revenge against the Terriers this time. The, the game is going to be pretty intense. One, because it is senior night, and two, uh, we, we owe Wofford something. Uh, to avenge a loss down at their place by one point, uh, it's just going to... It's going to make for a great night, and um, I'm excited for it. I hope our fans come out and support us and, and send our seniors off on a good note. But uh, it will be bittersweet to say, to, to say that this is the last game that they're going to play on TD, TD Arena floor. Again, the women back in action on Monday night at TD Arena. Tip-off at 7 o'clock. You can catch all that action with pictures right here on cfcsports.com. We'll switch from basketball now over to softball, where Shelly Horner and her girls coming off a doubleheader sweep over South Carolina State. And let's take a look at their action coming up at Patriots Point this weekend. Big weekend of action coming up on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. On Friday, just a single game against Wagner at 4 o'clock. On Saturday, a doubleheader against Radford and Wagner at 12 and then 2.30. And then on Sunday, against South Carolina and Charleston Southern, the game against the Gamecocks at 4.30, Charleston Southern at 7. And again, the Wagner, South Carolina, and Charleston Southern games you can all catch right here on cfcsports.com. That'll wrap things up for this week's episode of Inside the Lines here on cfcsports.com. Again, if you ever have any questions or comments to pass along to any of the coaches or players, we'd love to pass those questions along and have them come on camera and actually answer them for you. You can reach me at Jeff underscore CFC. So again, tweet those questions at Jeff underscore CFC. We'll pass those along to the players and coaches and bring them on camera and have them answer your questions for you. Again, that'll wrap things up for this week's episode of Inside the Lines brought to you by Hendrick Honda of Charleston. We'll talk to you again next week right here on cfcsports.com.